Uh, now friends, this is a story with a lot of Scots words in it, okay? But you're not to worry, it just flows. The story's dead simple, this guy's having a lot of trouble getting home from the pub. Okay, <laughs> that's the essence of it. The wife's at home, he's been at the market, etc. Tam, he has to get home through the darkness on his horse, which is called, she's called Meg, or Maggie, okay? And uh, you'll encounter this river, the River Doon, and he has to get alongside it, and then eventually he has to get across it to get home. And that becomes quite critical because of the tradition to escape the witches and demons. If you get over running water, you're safe, okay? Um, a Cutty Sark is a very uh, all-in-one nightgown, okay? It's not really supposed to be worn on its own outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> and a Chapman Billy's a heckle. So when Chapman Billy's leave the street, and Ruthie neighbours, neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tap the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and uka happy, we think na on the lang Scot smiles, the mosses, waters, slaps and styles that lie between us and our home, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, <laughs> gathering her bruise like gathering storm, <laughs> nursing our wrath to keep it warm. This truth and honest Tam Shanter, as he a night free air did canter, all dare when there a town surpasses for honest men and bonny lads. Ah, ta, hadst thou but been so wise, as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee weel there was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that frae November till October, I merk it day, thou wasna sober, the ilka melder at the miller thou sat as long as thou had siller, that every neg was cad a shoe on the smith, and he got roaring foo on, that at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank the curtain gin till Monday. <laughs> she prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in doom. Or catch we warlocks in the mark by Halloween's <coughs> old haunted kirk. But to our tale, I mark at night how pad got planted, uncorrect. Fast by an ingle blazing finely, we reaming swacks that drank divinely, and at his elbow suitor Johnny, his ancient trusty drew thee crony. <coughs> Tam lewed him like a very brother, they had been foo for weeks together. <laughs> the night drave on with sounds and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious with favours, secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man so happy, he'd drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him, we laid the treasure. The minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious. O'er all the ills of life, victorious. But... Pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, the bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white and melts forever. Or like the borealis race that flit, or you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, evanishing amid the storm. No man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches, tam on ride. At hour, O oh, next black arch, the key stain. That dreary hour Tam mounts his beast in, and sick an heart he tacks road in, as ne'er a poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew, as twould blown its last. The rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed. Loud, deep, and lang the thunder belled. That night, a child might understand that Dio had business on his hand. We all mounted on his grey mare Meg, better never lifted leg. Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire. Was crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, was holding fast his good blue bonnet. 
was glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Curtain Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and bullets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chaplain smoored, past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie, cuts <coughs> neck bay, through the winds by the cairn, where hunters found the murdered bairn, and near the thorn, abound the well, where Mungo's mother hanged herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods. The doubling storm rose through the woods. The lightnings flash from pole to pole. Near him or near, the thunders roll. Glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a bleeze. Through Ilka Bore, the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make a scorn. We tippity, we fear no evil. We use squabby, we'll face the deal. The swack say reamed in Tammy's noddle. <laughs> Fair play, he cared no deal's a bottle. But Maggie stood drift, sair astonished. To by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light. And foul, Tam saw an unca sect, warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, cotillion, brand new free France, but hornpipes, jigs, raspays, and reels with life and metal in their heels. A winnick bunker in the east, their saddled neck and shape of beast. A towsy type, black, grim, and large, to give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gart them scurl, till roof and rafters had a durrow. Coffins stood round like open presses that shod the dead in their last dresses. By some devilish country, slight each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the holy table a murderer's bains and gibbet airns, twa span lying with young christened bairns, a thief new cut for a rape was glass gas, his gap to gape, five tomahawks with blue red rusted, five scimitars with murdered crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, the missing son no life bereft, the grey hairs yet stamped to the head, with may look horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious, the pipers loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, to Lilka Carl and swat and reek it, and coos their duddies to the wark, and they link it at it in their sark. <laughs> a tam, a tam. Had they been quines a plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks instead of creasy flannin been snow white to seventeen hundred and linen. Their breeks of mine, my only pair, ants were plush against blue hair, I would have given them off my herdies, for I blink of the bonny birdies, but withered beldams, old and draw, rig woody hags would spain a fall, louping and flinging in a crummock. I wonder didn't I turn my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Tam Kent, what was foo brawly? It was I winsome wench and wally. That night enlisted on the core. Lang after Kent on Carrick shore, for mony a beast to dead she shot, and perished mony a bonny boat, and shook baith meek corn and beer, and held the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark o' paisley harn, that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude, <laughs> though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. <laughs> ah, little Kent, thy reverent granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pan Scots, with all her riches, whatever grace, a dance of witches. Hear my news, her wing one poor, sick flights are far beyond her poor, to sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was and strand, and how Tam stood like ain bewitched, and thought his very e'en and rich, e'en Satan glowered and finched through fain, and hotched and blew with micht and main. Till first I keep her, sing another, Tam tinties reason a together, and roars out, Well done, Cutty Sark! <laughs> and in an instant, all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied, 
When out the hellish legion sally, as bees was out with plunging fight, when plunging herds assail their bite, as open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs the witches follow, when money and Neil Drake <coughs> screech and hollow, a tam a tam they'll get thy fearing, in hell the roasty like a herring, now do thy speedy utmost Meg, and win the keystain o' the brig, there thou at them thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare not cross, but ere the keystain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake, for nanny, far before the rest, Hard of a noble Maggie press, and flew at Tam with furious Eto. Little wish she Maggie's metal. I spring brought off her master hail. <laughs> Left behind her ain grey tail. <laughs> and the carl and cocked her by the rump, and left pure Maggie scarce a stump. <laughs> now, what is tale of truth shall read? Elf man and mother son tack heed. When e'er to drink ye are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, <laughs> think ye may buy the joys our dear. Remember Tam O'Shanter's 